Hot springs, somehow. Uh, I feel so gross. I'm super sticky all over. I mean, you don't look super sticky, but okay. Why do I have to be so miserable? It's not fair. I'm the most kind-hearted demon there is. Oh, wait, a demon shouldn't be kind-hearted. But on the other hand... Hey, stop mumbling to yourself and get it over with. Ah, don't peek. I know you're struggling to hold back your libido because of my divine sexy body, but still. Don't be stupid. I have no interest in your body. What? No interest? But there isn't a man alive who... Wait, are you maybe not interested in women? What's that supposed to mean? I just want to go after them already. Oh, so you're just faking it. How boring. Anyway, do I really have to go with you? If you don't want to go, I can just drop you off. I'm not about to beg you or anything. Hmm, that would create its own problems. Shushin thinks I'm already dead. Which means I'd get left behind on this world forever. Then you don't have much of a choice, do you? But see, even though I'm a demon, I just don't know about betraying Shushu. It's not like I'm trying to act like a good girl or anything. It just kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Decide already, or I'll just leave you behind anyway. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're too impatient. People don't like impatient men. Really? Anyway, there's no need to fight the undis undisputed god. My only target is the ultimate god. Hmm, maybe I can let it go then. Oh, I want to make sure of one more thing. What? What you're planning to do? Is it evil? I guess you could say that. If the ultimate god isn't revived, then the twelve worlds will be... What? No! No, he's just about to tell us his evil plan! Right there. Oh, we're not in a new chapter, are we? So, I was going to say the town hasn't changed, but it's not a town, is it? It's G Castle. G Castle's population hasn't changed. It's the same as last time. So let's proceed onwards. Crimson World. A world of erupting volcanoes filled with vicious monsters. Who's on this world? Can't remember. Let's find out anyway. Chapter 7. Overwhelming monster. Can androids feel no pain? Kind of obvious who it is then. Crimson World! Alright! We conquered the sixth world! I like how the castle thing has like a scorpion's tail. Or stinger, depends how you look at it. This is where my newest adventure begins! Oh, I'm overflowing with energy! Did... did we have to bring him along? Pika! Can I run around? No, we can't let you go get lost again. And you might fall into the lava. But at least you've learned to ask first. Good girl. Hey, who's a good girl! Yay! So now we're finally halfway done, right? Six more, and the ultimate god will be revived! Well, let's not forget about that weird guy and that Altus girl. Once you get back to normal, so will I. I'm actually starting to get kind of tired of riding around on your head. What? Then why don't you just get off now? Lady Shushu, my head is available anytime you want it. Don't get ahead of yourselves. First we need to find this world's ultimate god. I have to wonder what this colleague of mine might look like. Whoever it is, I hope it's not another weirdo. It's probably another weirdo. It's not a who at all. It's a monster. Oh, of course. Huh? A monster? That's right. And an incredibly brutal one at that. Hmm. I'm not sure if a proper hero should have a monster for an ally. Or is that kind of thing more acceptable these days? Boy. Anything goes for ultimate gods, huh? Sometimes they're weapons, sometimes they're monsters. It would seem that way. It's unfortunate that this journey is my first time meeting any of my fellow colleagues. So this'll be our first monster type, huh? Yeah, I hope it's not too scary. I mean, based on some of the stuff we've seen before, it shouldn't be. 
It's not a matter of scary or not scary. It wasn't able to talk. And I'm not sure it had even a speck of intelligence. Sounds like you know a lot about it. It's almost like you've already seen it or something. I have seen it. Quite clearly, in fact. If you knew so much about it, why didn't you say something before? Wait, huh? Who said that? Which one of you already saw this world's ultimate god? Not me. Me either! Hey, did you guys forget about me already? Who, who's this again? Wait, who's been talking all this time? I believe it's coming from... somewhere in the region of our feet. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Our feet? You people are unbelievably unobservant. Um... I know you're an android and all that stuff, but... Y you've misplaced something? Oh. Huh? Is that... Deez's... head? Yeah. Huh. Go ahead and laugh. I know you want to. Alright, fair enough. That can talk. A severed head? And it's talking? Head! Just a head! Scary! Scary! No, no, she's not scary. It must be some kind of evil spirit! Lady Alice, stay back! <laughs> That's the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> this is even more surprising than when I first saw the little Missy shrunken down. You really shouldn't laugh at her. <laughs> Listen, everyone! This is no laughing matter! It... it is. Yeah! What's so funny about a talking, disembodied head? Seriously. Wait, do you guys know her? Shouldn't you be, like, seriously worried about her right now? Nah, it's fine. And more than that... How is she even alive? Uh-huh. Shushu? Your body... At least she has a body. What about it? Ha! <laughs> you laughed at me, but you look just as ridiculous. Sh shut up! Being tiny is a billion times better than being nothing but a head! Both of you look completely ridiculous! <laughs> oh, this is just too funny! Stop goofing around and explain what the hell is going on here! So is that monster you mentioned before the reason you're like this right now? Well, yeah. It's a long story, but when Shushu dropped me off here without a second thought, I didn't feel like doing anything, so I was just walking around. Huh? Can't you just skip to the part where you got your head cut off? I've been walking around forever, and I haven't seen a single living soul. <sighs> Why do I always get stuck doing stupid stuff like this? Looks like we're heading to another place with stained glass windows again. I couldn't care less about conquering this world. And besides, I'm not even her peon to begin with. <sighs> <sighs> All right, that settles it. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for them to come and pick me up. Wandering around aimlessly is a waste of my battery power. And I don't even know if I can recharge anywhere in this world. So... Do you not have, like, solar panels or something that you could recharge with? Huh? My warning system is going off. But I didn't notice anything before... Ah! <sighs> I let my guard down, and I paid the price for it. Scorpio, though. You're not some run-of-the-mill monster, are you? Scorpio! Can't understand me, huh? Well then, I have no choice but to give it everything I've got. Sorry I have to do this. Hmm. So, you lost the fight? I... I kinda say she lost more than the fight. Yeah, I guess you could say that. And now you're nothing but a head. <laughs> oh, how sad, you loser. Shh, shut up. This is just... It only happened because I wasn't really paying attention. It happened because you forgot your place. You should have waited for me to return. You're one to talk. Look at you. Hey, shh. 
Two-shirts? What? Could you pretty please explain how she's not dead, even though she's just a disembodied head? Well, of course she's not dead. I mean, heck, we could crush your head and you still wouldn't die, right? Strictly speaking, I suppose you're right. But could you not say things like that, please? Hmm, now I'm kind of jealous. I wish I could get my head crushed and still not die. I asked you guys to stop saying things like that. So, uh, can you explain why exactly she wouldn't die? It's because Dee's is a robot. Robot? Yep. Did you say robot? Explain yourself! I'm not a robot. I'm an android. Don't lump me in with those primitive, inorganic devices. Android? Robot? What's the difference? Quite a big difference. I'm not sure myself, but she seems to feel very strongly about this issue. So you're not really a robot, huh? But I suppose an android as a supporting character works well enough, too. Why is everyone acting like this is perfectly normal? Do you not know what game you're in? Oh man, that was just too funny. Anyway, why don't we get moving? We can catch up while we're walking around. Ah, good idea. Um, Dee's, can you, uh, walk? How would you expect me to do that? Maybe you can use your hair like feet and move like that? A, that's impossible. And B, that's super creepy. Yeah, that would look really weird. Okay, okay, fine. Ryuto, you carry her. Yes, ma'am. Here we... Whoa! For nothing but a head? You're pretty heavy. You should never call a girl heavy. Maybe, but... <laughs> Come on, Ryuto. You can do it. This group keeps on getting stranger and stranger. Nah, this is normal. Oh, dear. Well, this is fairly flat, isn't it? Right, let's go to number one and see what we've got here. How many do you want? 50 times 10, that's 500, plus 200. Oh no, we haven't got enough there, have we? We need several more before we can get that one. I'm gonna have to go off and do some grinding, I believe, at some point. Play, play, play! Right, what have we got here? Invasion down. And... Mind up. Oh, we'll have that. Right, so a love punch. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Okay, and we'll go with a cross return. Okay, so and slash won't reach. Let's have a cyclone. We hit one of them at least. What should I do? Spiral. Yep. Oh. Let's go with an energy punch. Oh, come on. How can I get noticed this? For normal attacks, then. Not waste of stuff. Please hit. These look a little bit like Cube, don't they? These little things. What are they called? Burn... Ev? Burn Ev? I don't know. Very weird names, whatever they are. Why do we keep missing this one? Is it because of the Mind Up? Mind Up isn't evasion, is it? Why, why is it... I don't understand why it's evading so much. Me... Where's the thing? Slippery. That's the field trait. That's that's what's going on, isn't it? Let's go. Look at me, everyone. That's what it is. Fair enough. Did you see me? I think I've figured out, by the way, the notifications. Why they've been so weird lately? Because I did mention previously. How do I leave this place? Hey, I found something. Got a warding powder. That's good. I assume I drop down. Oh yeah, I do drop down. Oh, fair enough. Oh, there's a ramp. Ignore me. Ignore me. But yeah, the notifications. Yeah. I mentioned before that they're not no coming up for me that recently. I've still not had some since I put out the, um, what was it? The Puna play of the game. I've not had any since then. And I've seen several people as well mentioning they're not getting notifications for videos recently. For some reason that what not working. But I think I've figured it out. I think it's because of the massive chains. The massive conversations that you guys are having. Or some of you guys are having, at least. They're somehow breaking YouTube. I'm not saying stop. Please, by all means, continue your conversations. I'm, I, don't, I don't pay attention to them. I have already mentioned that before. Just, they go on too long for me to even read. 
But bye bye. they do seem to be breaking YouTube, which I do find hilarious. Look at me, that YouTube everyone. is broken because you guys are just saying so much in the comments. Broke YouTube. Please hit well done. Me. Well done. What should I do? We need like an award for that, but I don't know what award we could give out. Breakers of YouTube 2016? I don't know. I don't know. I just find that hilarious. Because I noticed this when I um, was on another video, and I was getting, like, not on my channel, getting notifications for that video, and people replying to my comments, but not on any my videos. Oh, good. I need that up. Yeah, so it, it all came to a head, and I was like, aha, that's what's going on. An android hero, huh? On androids, human-made objects? Can they really be heroes? Don't call me an object. Besides, my body makeup... Besides my body makeup, yeah. I'm no different from a human. That's hard for me to buy when you're nothing but a head. I didn't choose to be like this. Uh, the head got mad. Stop shouting. You're scary enough as it is. I I'm not trying to scare the kid on purpose. So anyway, where's your body? It should be somewhere near where I was attacked. Can you get back to normal? Fortunately, my self-repair program is still functioning. So that won't be a problem. If we can find my parts, that is. In other words, you will be stuck like that for life if we don't. I don't think for life applies to androids. You should say forever instead. Don't say things like that. It's okay, we'll find them, probably. Can't we just get new parts? I mean, why not? Okay, sure, fine. For a peon, you sure are a pain in the butt. I don't remember ever becoming your peon. If we don't find it soon, I think I might just keel over and die. Why don't you have Sukika holder? She's strong, right? Alright, here, let me just... No! No head! Oh, not. Sorry. Ah, that's so cruel, Ryu. You don't have to treat me like a nuisance. By the way, Shushu, where are all of you heading? The place where you lost them to the monster, of course. What? Just leave it to me, I'll avenge you! I will follow Lady Alice to the utmost end, wherever that may lead. You have to absorb its powers anyway. Uh-huh, then we can get Deez's body back, and... No. Yeah, you, you startled me. Yeah, don't go yelling for no reason. I must dropped you. Aren't you listening? Even I was broken into pieces in a flash. There's no way you can win. I don't know, I mean, we've got some very powerful DLC weapons. Isn't that just because you're weak? Look who's talking. H how dare you? She truly is Lady Alice's comrade. She understands her so well. I didn't let my guard down, but even if I hadn't, I could tell its strength was extraordinary. It might even be stronger than Vorgus. Vorgus? That's a pretty evil sounding name, explain! Long story short, he was the main villain from last time, but don't you think you might be over-exaggerating just a bit? Not at all. If you fight it now, there's almost no chance you'll win. I don't know if I'd buy that, especially since the other ultimate gods have been, haven't been all that impressive. Indeed, I am not the best of fighters, but... But still, I need to become the ultimate god again. Yeah, and you don't want to stay a severed head forever, right? Well, I'm glad you care, but... We should at least gather more strength. If we could get some of us to join us, for instance. Hmm... It mean, really is that powerful. This is more serious than I thought. However, should a hero of justice be trying to assemble some giant mob to attack it? Five people seems the acceptable limit, I say. Annoying Kikaru's preference. What should we do, Lady Shushu? Hmm, don't you think it's like super lame to run away without even fighting? I'm doing you all a favor here. It really is dangerous. Unlike me, when it rips you all apart, you'll just be dead. He's is usually pretty calm and composed. If she feels this strong about it... Hmm, but still... No, just listen to it. Makes sense to go to other worlds first, pick up people, then come back here. Well, either way, 
If we want to head to the next group of worlds, we'll need to pianify this one, right? Oh, right. We can think about it when we while we do that. Okay, let's decide it. Let's get our butts in gear and pianify this planet. I suggest you do that and not think about fighting that monster. Alright, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make an edit until we next have a scene, probably. Because I suspect if I get like 50%, there'll be a scene. I don't know why, I just feel that's how it's gonna be. But anyway, we may make a cut here while I try and go pianify this planet. There we go then. This has taken me about an hour. I had to go farm loads of things to get this ready, but we should be fine now and be able to get 100% for this world. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, okay, I yield. You're no ordinary being. I shall respectfully become your peon. There we go. Hopefully I'll get some charm levels as well. That'll be nice for me. You love those charm levels. Ow. We're almost done. Come on, get moving. Slap, slap. Ah, uh, stop it. Yeah, this should be the last one. Yeah. Ah, moving, moving. <laughs> you sure like it when this happens, huh, Rayo? Yeah, it's fun. I see. So this is how you've been traveling around our worlds. Moving the planets. Man, how awesome is that? Reckless as always. Alright, we're done here. Let's go back to the ship already. Hmm, but since we've already come this far, I don't want to see the monster that tore you to shreds. I knew you were gonna say that. No, don't even think about it. It's too dangerous. Okay, okay, geez, you don't have to get so mad. Um, you're really not gonna go see it, Shushas? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, we just gotta sneak over there so she doesn't see us. I can hear you. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave it to you. You're the one walking anyway. Uh, uh, what should I do? Um, I'm going to say no at this point. I mean, quite underpowered for anything that could be really big. So we're going with no. Phew, thank goodness. You took my advice for once. What? Make it sound like I never listen. You don't. Nope. Never listen. Correct. Never. You really don't. What? Is that how you think of me? I didn't say anything. Uh, all of my peons except you two are rebelling. It's all your fault. Take this! No! Not another noogie! I know I haven't known you for all that long, but I'd have to agree with them. But listen, I am not happy about this. As the newest addition, I thought this world would be my time to shine. But we're coming back, I hope. I mean, I'm not giving up completely, it's just not yet. Too bad. Dees won't shut up about how dangerous it is. Well, we do still have a ways to go. Perhaps we can return at a later time. That's the plan, Bertram. Uh-huh. We need to make sure we don't forget. I bet you'll have forgotten by tomorrow. N no, I won't. Wait. Is that how you guys see me? Well, you do seem pretty forgetful. Yeah, you're kind of dopey. Like, I definitely wouldn't rely on you too much. It's okay, Rayo will remember. What? If Rayo is worried about me? Well, it should be okay. Even if you forget, everyone else will remember. Right. Besides, I can't go back to normal size until we come back here. And I need to get my revenge for being forced to go through all this. No one trusts me. Mope, mope, mope. Come on, I don't have time to deal with your depression. Let's leave this place for later and head back to head back, head to the new world. Yes, ma'am. Blood, blood, blood. Oh, so we skip into chapter eight. Fair enough. Overwhelming reunion. Two pasts are kind of revealed. Isn't back yet. You're right. I figured he'd be back by now. If I had to guess, I'd say he's off somewhere buying souvenirs. Souvenirs? Hmm. I 
doubt it. Oh, but don't get your hopes up. Like I said, it's just a guess. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah, and now I've ruined the mood. I'm so bad at small talk. I, I'm sorry. Please don't feel bad. And now the girl I made sad is trying to cheer me up. So, um, do you get lonely when Ace is gone like this? Huh? Hmm. Well, I think... Yeah, I do. Oh. I see. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Feeling lonely is... good? Well, what I'm trying to say is that having someone in your life to miss is a good thing. I don't really get it, but... Oh. Hmm? Don't you have to leave, Valeria? Your friends must be feeling lonely, too. Like I said before, I don't have a ship to leave with. Oh, right. And I'm sure if I just stay put, Shushu will find everyone else, and they'll all come to pick me up. So I'm not worried. I... see. That's... not the reaction I was expecting. It's not fair. What? What's not fair? Huh? It's not fair. What? I don't understand. What are you saying is not fair? You have all those friends. And I don't have any. You got Valeria? Oh. I'm... not sure what to say. Just say something like, Well, I'm sure everyone will be your friend when they arrive. All I have is Ace. And you. Maybe, but... Friends aren't something you can get just like that. True. But you have so many friends. I have two. And we went through all kinds of complicated stuff before we actually became friends. It's still not fair. I'm so jealous of you. Well, this was unexpected. I'm used to outright stubborn selfishness, but I'm not so sure how to handle this. <sighs> She's obviously upset. What should I do? Oh, I have an idea. Hey, Tio. Yes? Would you like to meet Shushu? Huh? Shushu and all the others. I'm sure they'll all want to be your friends. There we go. Really? Yeah. Some of them are a little... undisciplined, but... Undisciplined? Well, don't worry about it. Anyway, would you like to come with me? Yeah. Oh, but if we leave without saying anything, I'm sure he'll get mad at us. Maybe, but he's not exactly here to give us his blessing, is he? No. Yeah. And if he was here, I'm sure he'd say no anyway. Yeah. Are you having second thoughts? Oh, no. Let's go. He might yell at me later, but I really want to go. Then it's decided. Let's get going. Okay. Oh, but... Huh? Is there something else? Well, you said you don't have a ship, right? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, um... Hmm. Indeed. Uh-oh. She's really depressed this time. How can I fix this? I don't know, this time. My, how impulsive the two of you are. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Aww. You're here just in time. Listen, is there anything you can do about this situation? That'll have to wait for now. There's something I need to talk to you about first. Is it important? It is. A couple of days ago, I decided to call myself Anluka. So now you must call me that too. Okay? I won't allow anyone to call me you anymore. The way you know who likes to do. Uh, huh, I honestly don't care about any of that. Well, you should care. Names are very important after all. And so, I've decided to give you a name too. I'm... Tioni. Huh? Tioni? That's right. It's my name. Ace gave it to me. What? 
Damn it, he got to it first. Still, that's a good name. Who would have thought a guy who looks that angry all the time would come up with such a nice name? <laughs> oh, are you feeling a little better? Oh, yeah. I forgot I was upset. And you just reminded her. Oh, man. Why'd I have to go and remind her? I need to do something about this. Do you want me to take you where you're going? Huh? What? You want to get to that undisputed god, right? I can take you to her. So, we can go? You mean you have a ship? Actually, I left my ship on my world. But I do happen to have a very convenient power I can use instead. So, what do you say? I want to go. Please. Y yeah, if you can help, then please. How could I say no to two such adorable little girls? He might complain about it later, but I have a good excuse for doing this. So then you'll... Thank goodness! I really appreciate... However, before we get to all that, there's something I'm curious about. Huh? What is it? You, Tioni, right? Yeah. I overheard a bit of your conversation. Am I not included on your list of friends? Oh. Now that I think about it, yeah. How disappointing. I guess I was the only one who considered us friends. It's quite shocking, I must admit. Oh, um, no. It's just... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not looking for an apology. If we were friends, I would have been happy to help you out. But now... Hmm, I see where this is going. <laughs> Are you playing around with us right now? Indeed I am. There's nothing I love more than picking on cute little girls. Well, you shouldn't pick on her too much. Bullying is never good. A fair point. I'll try to restrain myself from now on. Huh? Hey, what are you guys talking about? Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Shall we get going? So, you're really gonna take us? It looks that way. Wow, really? When did you decide? Huh? But this'll be my first time doing this with other people. So I'm not really sure how it'll turn out. Okay, hold on tight! I'd be like, y y you know what? Forget it. I, I, I don't want to be an experiment here. Huh? Wait, you didn't tell us this was your first time. <laughs> Guess it worked. She really did move the entire world. Shushu works in reckless and ridiculous ways. That's kind of her thing. Why are you still in that costume? All right. So that's the power of the undisputed god. Not to mention the ultimate god they have with them. You honestly think you can win? You don't really seem up to the task. What's that supposed to mean? Anyway, I don't need to win as long as I can stop her from becoming the ultimate god again. That's a pretty pessimistic way to look at it. As a man, you should be more like, I'll defeat the ultimate god and become the new ruler. That's why people call you a two-bit bug. You're the one calling me that! Anyway, you're going to cooperate with me, right? Uh, as long as I don't have to fight Shushu directly, sure. She'll find out who I am if I get too close. Oh, and if you break our promise, we're done. Just remember that. Yeah, says the one betraying her allies. I'm not betraying Shushu. Besides, it's natural for a demon to do evil deeds. Sure, except for the part where you're an angel. Demon! I'm a demon! Whatever. Alright, it's time to go after them. I'll kill them for sure this time. But you got the stuffing beat out of you the last time, did you? Do you at least have a plan or something? I don't need one. This time, I'm gonna win. You totally, your total lack of planning reminds me of someone. Except for the ridiculous difference in ability level, of course. Alright then! Ooh, we got some new stuff around town. I think that should actually wait until we start the next part. Yeah, that'll be a good time to do it. So, we'll see you then.
Bye-bye for now.